Okay, game three of Yona versus Shark um, on Frost this time. Not cross position, but okay. So yeah, uh, the last game was interesting. Uh, Yona really went greedily for that third there, and it, for a while it was sort of paying off. He timed is the the production of his units really well, but Shark didn't really relent at all and. I don't know, it, it kept. It ended up costing Yona too much and still managed, off of the economy that that base provided, managed to uh, go up in supply. But that doesn't always mean that you're going to win an engagement against Brodas. It's very important the angle at which you engage the army uh, and how you handle the immortals, especially if you know, you're going for the roaches. Um, <sighs> Engaging at the third was going to be a death sentence, but I think he then retreated to his natural, which I... Th I mean, this is just my, my speculation. If he would have pulled back and attempted a flank when the uh, the army was going to go inside, the, the Shark's army was going to be inside the natural, then maybe the force fields would have been more, you know, more spread out a little bit. He did do that to a certain degree, but... I don't think it was just a direct counter to his army that he was facing, so it was just too many sentries as well. Okay, but now this is the decider. Frost a bit more, well, let's say a bit more friendly to the expanding Zerg at the start. But um, I don't know, maybe he's going to go straight for the third again? No, this time he is going to go for the gas and some speedlings to get some map control. This is the problem though, he had no pressure on Shark whatsoever either. So a two base Protoss allowed to completely do whatever he pleases, to engage however he wants, it's never a good thing for Zerg. Um, you always need a little bit of pressure, make his wall in, you know, secure, uh, worthwhile let's say. Okay, we also have double gas, but only three here. Three mining right now. It's probably going to be up in a minute, but what is he going for? The cyber cores down. You've got everything here. No scouts so far. Both players don't know where each other are, but soon will be found out. Yeah, he's holding back that gas because he is going to go for that expansion. And now we are going to see probably saturation of the gases. And here comes Wobgate, yep. Oh, still 2 and 2 though, so just taking his time. The mothership core is done. He doesn't really need gas at this point yet. Enough of what he has. Only one there. We've got speed being researched here, Fiona. That's fine. And everything slowly building up. I wonder if we're going to see the Queens again. It, I mean, no, we we're not. We're not going to see the Queens, are we? We're not going to see Queens and Roger because it's just too long a distance and too dangerous a choke. <laughs> Aha! Stargate. We are going to see some Oracle play. Which might be... Huh. Might actually be now that he doesn't go for the, the extra queens. Let's look at the production here for a second. There's only two queens here. This is the first time he's actually done that, I think. Third base, boom. That's a more open one, still. Walls up. Here we go. Now we've got full force gas being mined. And now transmute in the form of an oracle. Of an Urkel. Okay, the scout is in on the third. But uh, with his Oracle, he needs to be careful here. I mean, I don't see anything. He has no scouts on this. He, now, he could possibly deduct that there was going to be a Stargate there. There's a pylon being put down. Is that just to scare him off? And a cancel, just to scare him a bit? A bit of... Like booga booga, and actually enough of a distraction. I think this oracle is going to come in, and there's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here. The queens aren't alerted at all. There's some zerglings. Oh dear. 
And there's not another one on the way. There's straight in the Phoenix, actually. Boom. There you go. One, two, three, four, four, five. Yes. Five, six. This is devastating, actually. That's a good Oracle. Seven kills and goes out to fight a Marion Day. Couple of Lings in the front. That Phoenix is not hallucinated. Lings running around trying to find something here. No third, sadly. Not, a, not close to your opponent anyway. Uh, robotics facility. Oracle still moseying about. Phoenix trying to hunt for overlords, but <laughs> not going to find any. Was that Phoenix also just for hunting purposes? There's one here. They're pointing out to you, but you're apparently not really interested in it. Okay, so far. Now we have. We have spore crawlers. Now we have preparation for it. It's kind of funny because in the earlier games we saw people almost always going, there you go, you found him. Good on you. It was actually just scanning the entire area for overlords. But yeah, that one's going to run away slowly but certainly. Run, little one. But yeah, in the early games I casted almost every time we saw Oracle harass and we saw pre proper preparation for it. But now this is the first time I've actually seen you know, Oracle play without some kind of retaliation or at least some defense being built up for it. There's a lot of gas being built. We do see Speed Roach, uh, but this time it's not going to be accompanied by Queens here. We've got a Void Ray now being built and a little bit of, yeah, no, the <laughs> hallucinated Colossus just to make people scared. War Prisms. How many War Prisms do we have so far? We don't have, we've got a couple of air units. Somebody just won apparently. Phoenix, but a lone Phoenix does not harassment make. Just gonna slowly scout it. It's gonna be pretty straight up. You've got the Spire, you've got the Roaches. You've got the Void Rays here now. The Spire is gonna be used for the Corruptors to beat off whatever Void Rays and Phoenix's shenanigans. That Oracle actually had ten, it has 10 kills now. Managed to snipe off a couple of more. Okay, we've got a little bit of a push here. I don't know how successful this is going to be. There's going to be 15 roaches for the ground and a couple of um, billion zerglings as well. Uh, but about more than 20 zerglings are going to be in here. So this is quite a low attack. Remember, guys, this is the last game. So this is the decider. Oh, the roaches just pop in and nick it time. And that's going to be a recall. Whew. Thank fuck for recalls. Shark really... That's the only reason he could have done that. But now we have the direct counter. We've got that third base up right now. But, oh dear. That's going to be in the wrong... It's the same army he's going to face, but now out of position. Mm. What else is being produced for him here? He's got one more Void Raid. This is going to be a saving grace. That's actually the reason why we have a retreat here now. Because there's nothing to deal with these until you have the eight Corruptors that are about to pop. There you go. And 16 more Zerglings. Shark, dude, you need to up the ante here. You need to build, produce more units. The Void Rays is going to be great, but your direct counter is going to be in here. Nice reveal, but... <laughs> what is it? Uh, yeah, reveal. Uh, but it, it's not a spell. I don't know. Oracle, Oracle. You are not going to do anything. Well, no. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. There was a reason. Um, apparently, the, uh, the queen didn't die, though. So not all that successful. But forcing the army back again. We've got the rock, but ooh, the first couple of Zerglings. Do you have enough? This is the question. There's a lot of Corruptors here, though, for only a few, a very few, uh, four, actually, four Void Rays. And... Oh dear, here comes the engagement. Here comes the blast, but it's not enough. Is it enough to kill all the Corruptors? No, it is not whittling them down but that's the only reason they're there you need those for the ground combat the force fields are gonna knock full seal on the force fields or just just too many roaches the void rays and there's a colossus now but that's gonna get sniped the void rays did win out in the end but there's 23 overlords oh no sorry that's not production there's 24 more links being built and um, these void rays are they gonna be enough stop any onslaught of the mineral line here that's the question now 
They're still wailing away at random things here. They're not going to be able to snipe this. They're just going to move in. This is enough. Is this enough? No. <laughs> There's more lings here. The Void Rays just can't keep killing fast enough. And that's that. He couldn't do it. Not enough. I don't know if that third was such a good idea. The investment there. He needed a standing army. He knew there was going to be... A, he did well to halt... Um, Yona at the start there with that good oracle harassment that, but that's not going to be enough that's not going to be the only thing there's three base Zerg marginally harassed that push didn't do anything really because the roaches just popped in time and again that attack on the main also didn't really do enough so why go for the third why not just you know build up because you know the counter's going to happen you know you pissed off a Zerg when you go for his third. Uh, just not enough production. Yeah, he, well, dear, he, had, he was really going for the Stargates. Look at that, I didn't see that. And that's great, you know, Void Rays are great, but then Roaches, you know, they... 145 HP you need to deal with. They don't really care about Void Rays that much. Unless you really have enough. And if they can't be instantly replaced. There you go. Yona goes through to the winner's bracket final to face once more to you face once more you thermal. That's going to be an interesting match because I think Yona's <laughs> out for blood now. On to that one, grand final, Fragmatic 2014. Let's go.